In this video, we'll use science to speculate on what life could actually look like on Jupiter, and it's going to be weird and alien. Jupiter is not considered a promising place to search for life in our solar system. But that's understandable. Jupiter is nothing like Earth. It has no solid surface, it's made of gas, and it has storms that are many times the size of Earth. But surprisingly, there are regions within Jupiter that might be friendly to life. And we will use science to speculate and make as accurate predictions as possible on what life forms could look like in Jupiter. And we will examine three diverse creatures in the process. Most of Jupiter is hostile to life as we know it. In the upper atmosphere, the pressure is too low and it's too cold to host life. In the lower layers, the temperatures become scorching and the pressure crushing. But there is a narrow band deep in the cloud layers called the troposphere. Here, conditions are surprisingly Earth-like. Temperatures hover around 0 degrees Celsius and there are trace amounts of water vapor. Therefore, it is here we will speculate that life might exist. But for life to exist, there must be energy. On Earth, most life depends on photosynthesis, where sunlight is converted into sugar compounds. But Jupiter is far from the sun. And in the lower troposphere, the thick clouds block most sunlight. But there is another way to get energy. Chemosynthesis. The process of harvesting energy from chemical reactions rather than sunlight. On Earth, entire ecosystems are based on this, like deep sea hydrothermal vents which never see sunlight. But could similar chemistry fuel life in Jupiter's atmosphere? Surprisingly, yes. Jupiter's atmosphere contains energy-rich molecules like hydrogen, ammonia, methane and sulfur compounds that could similarly fuel life. But even if energy is available, life is not easy here. The pressure is 5 to 10 times that of Earth, water is scarce, there are violent storms, and the weather, it's brutal. So what type of animal could evolve here? Let's leap far into the future. Humanity has become a star-firing civilization, cataloging the life forms of distant worlds in a vast living archive called Cynopedia. And from this archive, we'll explore three hypothetical life forms that are adapted to the skies of Jupiter. Our first specimen is the gas drifter, which is inspired by Carl Sagan and Edmund Sulpitas floaters from Cosmos. This giant balloon-like organism drifts passively through Jupiter's atmosphere. Its pale, translucent body is filled with hydrogen-rich sacs, keeping it buoyant so it doesn't sink into the deadly depths. Long tendrils collect floating molecules, hydrogen, ammonia and sulfur, and deliver them to the symbiotic chambers clustered around its core. Inside each chamber, colonies of chemosynthetic microbes convert these molecules into usable energy. But why are the microbes kept inside? is to protect them from the harsh chemicals and the violent wind. And it's also to give them a moist, stable temperature zone where they can thrive. But the gas drifters do even more to ensure their survival. They grow multiple chambers, ensuring redundancy in case one is damaged or infected. The gas drifters are giant animals, and they can reach up to 20 meters in size. They often travel in vast, slow-moving herds, drifting like airborne jellyfish in Jupiter's endless sky. But Jupiter's atmosphere is also different from Earth in other ways. Its lower troposphere is incredibly dense, more like thick soup than air. And in this environment, organisms can grow truly massive. Meet the next specimen from our archive, a thermal surfer. A majestic manta ray-like creature with wingspans of up to 40 meters or 130 feet. It has a low metabolism, and glides efficiently through the atmospheric currents of Jupiter, barely using any energy. But its life evolves around a dramatic weather phenomenon known as a convective heat spike. This is when a sudden burst of hot gas in lower atmospheric layers are boiled over and rise rapidly through Jupiter's troposphere. These heat spikes carry with them a concentrated mix of nutrients and molecules, which is the primary food source for the thermal surface. These animals will spend most of their lives slowly swimming in solitude, but this peaceful existence is abruptly interrupted when heat spikes appear. Thermal surfers detect these spikes using specialized thermosensory organs, 
and a desperate race begins where thermal surfers flock to heat spikes to eat. But the energy needed to reach a heat spike fast is enormous. Therefore, if the surface does not get there in time to feed, it will be tired and vulnerable. But hidden in the clouds above, something is watching and waiting. This is the third animal from our archive, the kite lurker. Shaped like dark angular kites with long trailing tendrils, these creatures lie in wait for heat spikes. They too detect heat, not to feed, but to hunt. Kite lurkers normally drift alone, but when a heat spike erupts, the kite shape allows them to ride the winds at high speed. They converge near the heat spike, forming massive flocks circling over the feeding thermal surface. Once they spot an exhausted thermal surfer that arrived too late to feed, they dive at high speeds surrounding the surfer in a coordinated attack. But they must be careful. Thermal surfers are giants, and a swipe from a fin or a tail could kill a lurker instantly. Some distract it so others can attach to the surfer and start eating. The surfer is soon overcome and feeds flocks of kite lurkers before the remains sink into the depths. If such massive creatures existed in Jupiter's skies, wouldn't we have seen them? Most likely not. Our only direct data from Jupiter's atmosphere comes from NASA's Galileo spacecraft. It was directed to crash into Jupiter and was destroyed less than an hour after entry. The lower troposphere remains shrouded in thick clouds, virtually invisible to current telescopes and instruments. If life exists here, even enormous life, it would have been difficult to detect. We have at every turn been surprised by how resilient life is. So maybe life on a gas giant like Jupiter is not that unrealistic. Let me know in the comments what planet we should explore next. And if you want more scientifically grounded alien life, subscribe to Xenopedia.